guys. I feel like this is like blinding you. So we have all of my single shadows. So I think I might do my color pop ones separately. Uh, just because with the color pop ones, most of them I will be keeping because I really want to do a updated swatch video on all of these. So this one might be separate. So let's go ahead and just tackle this first one here really quick. So I have all of my liquid highlighters, as you can see here. I have like L'Oreal Infallible shadows. I have um, cream, liquid, powder, you name it, it's all here. So let's go ahead and get into this declutter. So this is a Revlon color stay cream eyeshadow and this is in the shade 740 it is a really nice purple shade but these are honestly not that pigmented and kind of not worth it so i'm gonna go ahead and pass I have it. two green eyeshadows liquid shadows let's be honest i'm not gonna go through both the first one is from revlon it's the eye art and this is in the shade desert dazzle so it's a green like an olive green like honestly this is so stunning i don't even think i have makeup wipes around here actually i do so there's some behind me um and then you have like a glitter top coat which you can kind of tell i've used more of the glitter top coat than anything That's stunning too. All right, let's watch the other one. I really like these. Um, this one is different though. This is actually from L'Oreal. This is in the Infallible Paints line. It's in 310 Army Camo. You can already tell that the colors are a little bit different. Ooh, I really like this color. Why have I not used this more? I need to play with this a little bit more because it is such a pretty like khaki I said that's so weird khaki green honestly I think yeah these two shades are very similar right next to each other um I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep both because I really really like this green right here but I also like how metallic this is I love the glitter I love green on my eyes, so I think I'm going to keep both. I shouldn't, but we're doing it, guys. Okay, let's move on here. So I have another one of these liquid. Let's go through all the liquid ones, I guess, first. So I have a ton of liquid eyeshadows. I don't use them on the daily, obviously, but they are really nice. I'm probably going to keep most of these, to be completely honest. Um, so I have a Liquid Metal by Catrice. This is a cream eyeshadow in the shade, let's see here, California Creamin. Yeah, this is. Oh, that is such a stunning color. And I know none of these look like that. It's just like a nice, like, metallic cream. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. It's like a champagne-y color, too. I really like that. So I'm going to keep that. I know I'm going to keep this. This is the Revlon Eye Art in Prism Peach. Look at this peach color, you guys. This is stunning. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I'm almost swatching. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop. You're being so weird. Stop. Don't. No. Don't. Don't bite that. You guys, she's trying to literally bite my, like tripod right now she wants me to snuggle her so bad right now okay <laughs> uh this peach is stunning are you guys ready for this like look at that peach and that like reflective i love wearing this in the summertime i actually have worn this a few times all over the lid um with the Too faced peach palette uh, in my crease. So that's stunning. I'm going to keep this one for sure. Um, okay. I'm going to keep these two also. 
I'll swatch these for you. These are actually newer to my collection. I just recently found these. These are both from the Gothic Graphic Collection from Wet n Wild. So they are limited edition. I have Goth Tears and Pure Intention. So this is Pure Intention. This is so stunning, you guys. It is kind of similar to this, but this one is a little bit more pinky and so much more glitter. So you can kind of see when I flip my wrist a little bit, it definitely pulls more pink. I'm going to keep that for sure. And then this one is Goth Tears, which is this beautiful purple iridescent, which reminds me of that Revlon one that I got rid of. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. So I have three left. I have two from e.l.f. One is brushed copper and the other is rose gold. Um, see, they're all so different. I don't know if you guys... can tell but they're all so different that I want to keep them all but see and that one kind of looks like the peach one but it doesn't at the same point Ugh. I think I'm gonna keep the elf ones this is so bad this is not going good at all and then this one is by Revlon this is the topaz twinkle so this is like a taupey color looks like this which I definitely don't have anything like this so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one uh, next I have the NYX vivid brights this is a cream colored base um, I thought these were different I thought these were like the paints for uh, like Halloween to do that uh, this isn't bad blood you could definitely use these for a face paint um, I don't know I think I think I'm gonna keep this I feel like this would look, look really nice as like a lip color I'm gonna keep this for Halloween if I don't use it past Halloween then I'll go ahead and get rid of it but I'm gonna keep it for now and I have one more of them it's right here all these closer so I have another one this one is in pillow talk right yes I love this color and it is stunning you can see I have made a dip in this this is a nice like taupey purple it is gorgeous I'm gonna keep this one for sure I also have a wet and wild single in creme brulee this is just a nice cream color once I get rid of this I'm gonna start going through all my cream colors and my palettes and start using those but it's just a nice cream all over the lid shade. This one's by e.l.f. This is in Cruisin' Chic. And it is like filled to the top, you guys. Because I had two of these at one point. And I love it so much. And that is what it looks like right there. It is such a stunning color. I haven't used this in a while, but... I'm going to hold on to it for a little while longer. It is still good. It's still creamy. It's still nice. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this around for a little while longer uh, just to try to maybe see some progress in this. I also have two cream shadows from Kylie Cosmetics. And you guys, I think I'm only going to keep one of these I might even get rid of both um, I'm gonna swatch them though but these were a part of their her holiday collection I believe uh, last year and I bought these I want to say in like February if I'm correct I could be totally wrong but I feel like I bought them in like February right before we moved uh, this is in golden plum which it looks like that. It is stunning. It's like this burnt plum with a lot of like gold in it. It's really beautiful. But am I going to use it? That's the question. Which looks like this. It's supposed to be like an olive green, but it definitely pulls, I feel like, a lot more like gold. 
than olive. But they're so, they're both so stunning. I'm going to put both of these in a maybe pile and come back to them. Because I'm very unsure whether I want to keep them or not. Two Essence shadows. This one is in All I Need. Which looks like that. It's a really nice like highlighty color. I feel like that would be a really nice face highlight to be completely honest. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. I might switch it over to my face highlighting drawer. And I also have one in Vel the Velvet's Taupe Secret. Which is a really nice transition shade, honestly. You know, I think I'll actually go ahead and pass this along. I need to start passing some stuff along. <laughs> NYX shadow here. It looks like this. It's another green. I love greens. This is in the shade Jaded. I think I'm honestly going to go ahead and pass this one on, though. It is a nice shade, but I have things that are very similar to this. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that but it is very stunning They're both by bella pierre they are face highlighters but i thought since they do reflect a lot of glitter to use them as uh, pressed pigments or just like pigments so i have toast and i also have a rose i don't remember if i've actually opened these or not so yeah i have so that's what toast looks like i'm not gonna swatch that but i am gonna keep it Oh, the glitter is getting everywhere. And this one is in Rose. Which looks like that. And it is stunning as well. It's very glittery. If you use a glitter glue, these are stunning. So I'm going to go ahead and keep both of those from L'Oreal. And right off the bat, I know I'm going to keep these two. So I'm going to keep Amber Rush and I'm going to keep Iced Latte. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. This is in the shade Liquid Diamond. This reminds me of the ColourPop one and the ColourPop one I like the formulation a little bit more but it looks like this. It's kind of like a silvery purple honestly. Yeah no I'm actually going to go ahead and pass that one along. I don't really care for that. I'm not going to use it. So I think I made a decision about these Kylie ones. I'm going to go ahead and also pass these on. Like I said, I've only used Camel once. I haven't even used this one and I do like the formulation. They're really nice and creamy, but I just know I don't wear purples a lot and I just don't like the golden greens. So I'm going to go ahead and pass both of those so we have three shadows left so we have two greens these are both so different uh, by l'oreal so the first one we have here is in gilded envy and this is kind of like more of like a khaki green i feel like it looks like that i'm gonna swatch this really quick i can't remember what it looks like oh yeah i remember um, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and pass that one on. It doesn't have as much pigmentation as I remember, so that can actually go. And I also have this green here, which is in Golden Emerald. Which is, like, super green. And I feel like I have a shade very similar to this. Which looks like that, but I'm going to go ahead and pass this on as well. I actually have never used this. I think I've only honestly ever swatched it. So I'm going to go ahead and pass that along. Here is in Bronzed Taupe, which looks like this. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and keep this one. Yeah, I really like this shade, so I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. So I got rid of two, four, six, eight shadows all together. I am keeping quite a bit, but honestly, getting rid of eight is awesome. So I'm going to add that to my list of the total of the makeup amount that I have decluttered so far. So I hope you guys enjoyed this declutter series. I still have two more that I need to film, but I'm on the right track. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.